On January 28, 1986, millions of Americans gathered around their TVs to watch something historic the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger. On board were seven astronauts, including Krista McAuliffe, a school teacher chosen to become the first civilian in space. It was supposed to be a moment of inspiration. Instead, just 73 seconds after liftoff, Challenger broke apart in the sky. The cause was a small but deadly flaw, the O-ring seals in the right solid rocket booster. These rubber rings were designed to keep hot gases contained. But on launch day, the temperature at Cape Canaveral was an unusually cold 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Engineers had warned that the O-rings could stiffen and fail in such low temperatures. They were right. When Challenger launched, the cold caused one O-ring to lose its seal. A bright flame escaped from the booster, burning through the external fuel tank. Within seconds, the shuttle broke apart, killing all seven crew members. What the world witnessed live was not an explosion of the shuttle itself, but the sudden breakup of the entire launch system. The tragedy exposed deep problems within NASA's decision-making. Engineers at Morton Theocall, the booster manufacturer, had urged NASA to delay the flight. But under intense schedule pressure, managers went ahead despite the risks. The Challenger disaster became a turning point. Investigations led to major safety reforms, new engineering standards, and a renewed focus on listening to scientific warnings, even when they are inconvenient. Today, Challenger's crew is remembered not just for how their mission ended, but for what they stood for. Exploration, education, and the belief that space belongs to everyone. Their legacy reminds us that progress in science and technology requires courage and a commitment to never ignore the smallest warning signs. Want your own fascinating videos? Click the description link to get started today.